last night, gone to dig a show. When I passed the display window of a big department store, well, I looked inside this window, man, I filled up the rest. Down there near the bottom was a crazy pair of slacks, I gotta have them. Yeah, well, I need them for this cat. Well, well, yeah, how can I go cat without crazy pink pack slacks? Peg Slacks is really made up of about three or four riffs and the words together as a song. The introduction goes like this. So not too difficult. All we're doing, we're doing double stops sliding from two to three on the top two strings. And then we go down two, one. Then we play a sort of mini G shape, which is, you know, if you know your G bar chord, Eddie only uses quite often uh, like three strings at a time. I think he must have been a jazz player to begin with or something because he's good at just using triads. So this is uh, part of the G bar chord and it's three on the B, uh, four on the G and five on the D and you just play it in upstrokes like this. And what you do is you damp the strings immediately after you've struck it, like that. It's almost a bit like reggae or ska or something. Sometimes I just play the D string before I do the up strokes. But that's the basic riff. Then the next bit, this is the sort of signature riff of the song when he talks about I went into a store. And it just repeats down. So it's basically open. On the D, two on the D, open on the D, and just play that triad again. Now he doesn't always play that, it's, it's quite loose. Sometimes just as like that, which is what I did in the, the rhythm guitar part. So if you're going to sing it, it would be, I went downtown last night, gonna dig a show. Past the display window of a big department store. Well, I looked inside this window, man, all filled up with racks. Down there near the other bottom, and it goes to a G7, was a crazy pair of slacks. And again, I'm just playing it on the three strings B, uh, B, G, and D. So if you're having your bar chord, so you're putting your pinky onto six on the B. Then it goes to the chorus, which is a C chord, and it's upstrokes again. And back to that G7. And it goes to a, D a D7 chord. And then I just pull it down one fret for the sort of descending chromatic. So let's just do that bit that we learnt there. Okay, and then the final bit of that little break is... And that sort of signifies the end of the chorus each time. So we're just sliding up to three on the top two strings. And then we're playing a sort of D9 chord, but it's a D sharp 9, so we're 6, 5, 6, 6, 6 on the A, 5 on the D, 6 on the B and G. And slide that down one fret. Five four five five like that.
That's pretty much the whole song, folks. The only variation is at the very end uh, where it goes, it does that D sharp 9 to D9. And it does a sort of A flat 7 to a G7. It's quite tricky that. And that's the whole song. There we are folks, thanks for watching. That was Pink Peg Slacks by the Cochrane Brothers, one of Eddie Cochrane's early tunes and definitely worth learning. Thank you to Steen for requesting it and uh, as I say folks, check out the Rockabilly Cruisers Facebook page. A young band from Norway that are doing great things with Rockabilly and uh, we need to support the scene and keep this going because uh, it's only the young bands that will be around in the future to keep it going so must support them. Uh, and a not so young band is the Rock of Hillbillies uh, who are gigging uh, again from July 2021 and if you want to come and see us uh, please do and get in touch with Tanners in Juniper Green or uh, Preston Pans uh, if you're in Preston Pans Gothenburg uh, because uh, you have to book ahead to, to get your table because of the restrictions on live music. Uh, not so handy for live music but nevertheless we're very grateful that we're gigging again and we'll be really looking forward to seeing folks because we've not seen anybody for about a year and a half in this part of the world. I know some people are having a worse time in other parts of the world but uh, uh, our thoughts are with you as well. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and keep rocking. We'll see you next time.